Hasusu! Hello, hello! Welcome back to Giggle Sims. My name is Laura, and it has been a while since you've heard my voice. <laughs> Precisely, it has been since August 25th, 2021. That is almost two years. I can't believe it. I had no idea it had been that long. I just couldn't believe it when I saw the date on my last uploaded video. I was like, what? That's insane. That's crazy. I thought I had thought it had only been maybe a year, but yeah. I was wrong. <laughs> it has been almost two years. That's insane to me. Um, yeah, <laughs> but many updates to give. Um, basically the reason I hadn't been able to upload is because I have, I had no room left on my laptop whatsoever to do anything. No room for more games, no room for, um, photos, no room for editing videos or video footage or storing video footage. So yeah, I really needed an external hard drive. I avoided getting one for a very long time because I wasn't sure if it would work, but it does work and I have one and it's great. <laughs> and as soon as I got one, I was right back to uploading or to recording videos. And I, I'm just so excited about it. Also, if you can hear my fan in the background, I'm very sorry. It is very hot in June in Minnesota. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing. Last time you heard my voice, you probably, I was probably in Minnesota or in Alabama. Um, because I, we moved to Alabama for like three years and now we've moved back to Minnesota last year and bought our first house, which is pretty, you know, pretty awesome. Um, I've also been working on my other channel, which is Collect and Craft. Um, it has amassed quite a following, so I've been pretty busy on there. I believe I have like 61,000 um, subscribers <laughs> on there. I do like toy and craft videos and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, if you want to check that out, you can go follow me at uh, Collect and Craft on all platforms. Anyway, let's talk about this build. So I have been doing something since I didn't have my external hard drive yet. Um, I was kind of just playing with what I had on The Sims. Um, and I had been like doing this series of uploads to the gallery where I create these builds that are just base game plus one expansion um, or pack or whatever. And I do like starters, so under 20,000 simoleons. And yeah, I just decided, okay, first video back, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna continue what I'm doing. And um, I was on outdoor retreat, so I decided to make a yurt. And as you can see, I used the round walls, which is the first time I have ever done that. Um, it was a little tricky, but I figured it out, and I'm really excited about how this turned out. Um, I started with like bunk beds on the inside, but then ultimately decided I wanted this to be more of like a honeymoon type of retreat. Um, so I decided to just do a double bed in there. Plus I figured, um, well, I started with the bunk beds because in a lot of yurts, there's like a little lofted area. And I kind of wanted that to use the like bunk beds to represent that. But then I decided not, nah, you know, it doesn't really need that. Um, but anyway, I was really excited to build this because I have always wanted to stay in a yurt. And when I, you know, I've just kind of been going down the line of packs to use for these like starter builds. And when I got down to outdoor retreat, the first thought that came to my mind was, oh my gosh, I have to build a rental yurt in Granite Falls. I just have to, right? So <laughs> yeah, I was really excited about that. Um, because I've, I've never been in a yurt. I've never, like, I've seen them, of course, because I live in Minnesota and camping is kind of a big deal in Minnesota. I've camped most of my life. I love camping. Um, and this is just kind of like a more upscale type of camping. Like a yurt is like, um, 
it's it's basically like a tent that is made out of canvas and sometimes you can make them more permanent like a lot of people might like build them out of wood and actually like live in them and have like a a stove in them and um they tend to stay pretty nice and warm but then there are the versions that are more like kind of what I tried to create here which is it they're more of like a um travel version where they can you can take them down easily and whatnot but yeah if you <laughs> if you kind of want to know what a yurt is definitely check into that I think that would be a great like vacation idea for just real life I guess <laughs> I also decided to put this horseshoe thing here because that comes with granite falls that's one of the um fun items that come with granite falls and I thought that they have to have like something something like that to get their fun up I also included a little table and chairs outside the yurt and I built this little deck to go from the yurt to the little like um what's it called? Outhouse. A little outhouse. Fun fact, my mom um, did not grow up with indoor plumbing. No, she is not old. She just grew up very poor. And so she always tells me tales about how they had to use the outhouse in like the middle of winter and stuff. So I don't know. That's just what I thought about when I was building this, this lot about how when my mom was little, she always had to use an outhouse and like they used to have to like pump their um, water from uh, a well and so like when they took a bath they had to they had just like this big metal tub and they just like had to keep boiling water and then like filling the tub with the boiled water or whatever and yeah so I'm just it, this it made me very thankful for indoor plumbing like I'm just very thankful for indoor plumbing <laughs> But that's what this build made me think of. I also used a lot of the debug um, landscaping items like flowers, bushes, stuff like that. I loved that little log that's just kind of laying there. Um, yeah, but I always use debug items um, <laughs> when when building starters because that are that you want under like 20,000 because th it's free they're all zero simoleons so it's just a nice way to really fill up the space and uh, make it look nice without having to spend a whole lot of money on the build so when you download it you can just move a sim in from the um from cast like right away you know because you start out in cast with like 20,000 simoleons. I'm sure most of you, if you're watching this, you already know this. But but for those of you who are kind of newer to The Sims, this is that's what a starter home is. is it's a home under 20,000 in the game because your sim starts out with 20,000 simoleons straight out of um, create a sim or Cass for short. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed building this I I'm not normally great at landscaping but I think I did a pretty good job with this and I actually really enjoyed um doing the landscaping on this I also put a little fire pit of course because when you're camping you have to do a, you have to have a fire pit I mean what's the point of camping without a fire pit um <laughs> and then of course some of the granite falls or outdoor retreat I always call outdoor retreat granite falls do you do that too like do you ever um call a pack a different name because I I always do that and I I always have to remember what the packs are actually called like eco living or no eco life is it isn't it called eco lifestyle and I just always call it eco living I don't know I don't know no. But anyway, um, yeah, we're getting to the end here. So I'm just going to ask you guys to go ahead and like, subscribe, um, comment down below. Have you ever been in a yurt before? Have you ever stayed in a yurt? I would be really interested to know your experience in a yurt. <laughs> and hopefully you will see me uploading way more videos now that I have my external hard drive. But anyway, stay tuned for the screenshots at the end, and I will see you guys in the next one.